In this video, we're going to run through a project using CAD files. So this is really the quickest way to do uh, volume estimates if you have the CAD files available. You don't always have them, of course, and you might need to do a takeoff on screen, but we've covered that in other videos. So for now, we're just looking at the, the CAD takeoff. So we're going to use the example that comes installed with the program, which is called the building site example. Uh, and we're going to just run through that using CAD files to load in our existing or proposed terrain until we get our earthworks estimates. So the first thing I would do is actually load in a PDF of the site. This is actually optional if you have CAD files, but it's quite useful to have this to give you a kind of frame of reference. So I'll just open this PDF. Uh, in our example PDF, we don't have a scale drawn on the drawing. So if we did, we could type it in here, but I'm just going to ignore this one. I'm going to set it a different way. I'll just expand this window. So this is the PDF of our example project. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two coordinates off this drawing uh, to line this drawing up to where it should be in the real world. So I'm going to use this Align to Two Points tool. And this just allows me to click on two points on the drawing and type in their position. And the program will scale and move the image into the right location. So I'll just click on the first point, And then I just type in the value here for x and the value for y. And then I just do exactly the same thing for a second point. And now I've done that, the software will scale the image and move the image into the correct position. It's worth mentioning that it's really important if you're using CAD files to have the positioning correct, because otherwise this PDF won't line up with your CAD objects. If we weren't using CAD, we could have just scaled the drawing and that would have been fine. Uh, but if you are using CAD, you need to get the position right as well as the scale. So the one other thing I'll do is just remove this, this grey colour so that I can see past that. So then I'm left with just the line work of this drawing. That's everything I need to do. I'll just click OK and now that PDF will be loaded into the main program. So that's everything I need to do with that PDF. The next stage is to define the existing ground levels. So to do that I'll click existing and then edit elevations. And this window is where I define the features of the existing ground. So in this example we actually have contour lines to define the existing and we have an outline which defines the boundaries of the site. So those are the two things that I need to define for this example. So what I'm going to do is click on this button where it says add from file and I'm just going to load these because I have them in a CAD file. So this is a DXF file here. I click open and then this window will pop up uh, and this is basically showing you the entities in the CAD file that you can load. So this drop down is where you can choose the layers in your CAD file. So we deliberately have quite a simple example, there's just a few layers here. So basically each thing is on one layer. Your files may have many more layers, but uh, this is just to keep things simple. So what I want to load in for the site boundary is on a layer called site boundary. So I click OK and that one will be loaded in. As I mentioned earlier, because we've lined up the PDF file to the correct coordinates, everything should line up now that I start loading in CAD data. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing, click on the Contours tab, and now I'm going to load from the same file. I'll load in the contours. These are on a layer that's called Existing Contours. That's the one. I'll just turn off that boundary there. Okay, so that's now loaded all those contours in, and you can see from these labels that they will have the correct levels already because they have the levels in the CAD file. You'll sometimes find that people give you CAD files that don't have levels, and you would actually have to go through them here and, and type in their levels. Um, but in this example, we have the correct levels already set in the file. So for this example, that's actually everything I need to do. It just has those contours and the outline, so I'll just click OK. And the program will now create this surface from those contours and outline. 
So you can see it shaded in from white to black. These are the elevations. There's a color key on this side. We can also use the mouse to inspect the site and we can see the X and the Y next to the mouse. But then also the Z value so you can see the level of the mouse location. So it's worth going around your site and just checking that uh, this has come out as it should. If you make a mistake you can usually see that we have a very dark patch or a very light patch where you, you've done something wrong. So that's everything we need to do to define the existing levels. The last thing we need to do is just to find the proposed levels from these black contours. So to do that I'm going to click on this plus button to add a proposed element. And we're adding a surface element which is where we just define the contours in the same way that we did the existing. And now we have the same window as before but now we're editing the proposed instead of the existing levels. So I'm just going to go through exactly the same process. I'll go on the outlines tab. I'll load that CAD file and I'll choose the layer that my outlines are on. This time it's the proposed outlines. Click OK. One thing that's worth mentioning on outlines is you have different options to set these outline levels. Uh, so these options will be covered in more detail in other videos. But what this outline is, is where the existing ground levels meet the proposed ground levels. So I'm going to use this use ground levels option. Which just tells the program that this outline is where the two meet, the existing and the proposed. So now I'm going to load in the contour lines. This is on a layer called Proposed Contours. You'll be lucky if your file is as simple as this one, but the principles are very much the same. So now we have the contour lines loaded in. And the last thing I have in this example is break lines. So these are on a layer I think called Proposed Break Lines. Okay. So these are just the edges of the road actually. In this example we don't have points, but if you did have them, you could load them in in just the same way. And actually if you had points in an Excel file from a surveyor, you could also load them in from, from that file format. Or in fact many others common formats for surveyors. But in this example that's everything I need to do, so I'm just going to click OK. And now the software is going to calculate the cut and the fill between those two surfaces. Thanks for watching. Take a look at our other videos for more tips, tutorials and walkthroughs.